Jets only. Hot trying. So the Hell Divers, whatever their whatever the development company is, their their CEO literally cannot stop being based. Like it's it's in his blood. He can't he can't help it. He's just too based <laughs> because they had they they launched it. They got way more success than they were anticipating. Servers get laggy and lo- overloaded. Wait times are super long. All this shit. And he goes on Twitter and he's like, "Hey, if you don't have Hell Divers two, don't buy it right now. <laughs> we're working on the server issues. We really don't want you to buy it and then be super disappointed. Wait, we, we will tell you when the server stuff is fixed. It's gonna be great. You know what?" It's hot um, down here. And then people were like, hey, why don't you just hire a bunch of people to get the servers running? And then he's like, what? So I can lay them off after? Fuck you. We'll get Pretty it working. Sweet dude. Yeah, fucking based. I don't know what that means. <laughs> based? Based is the opposite of cringe. Like, is that with like Sol- turkey solid juices? Solid dude, bro. Or like <clears throat> my own juices? Like, how are we basting? Based? B A S E D. Based. Based, yeah. Not acided. It was based. Based. Oh, yeah. you guys are the greatest. Thanks for the hype train level one completed. Thank you. Let's go. No, I'm going in there to see if I have a thing to spend. Super Earth lives on. Thanks to you guys. Should now I want to see. I want to look up this hell diapers. If I didn't have a broken shoulder, I would fucking buy it right now. But mm, you look like gonna... me uh, five years ago, Phil. <laughs> it's going to aggravate I'm my carpal tunnel. I'm hell divers too. I had that same sling, even. Third person. Thank you. It's a hand Thank you. That mm-hmm. was the information. It's not a competition, guys. For who's, democracy. Who's the most crippled? Did you break the top of the humerus, or did you break co- collarbone? Neither. What? Thirteenth. Um, Scapula. It, it. Mute your phone. I would turn. Mute it off. your phone. I turned it off. Be professional. Fix your arm. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up, Dennis. Yeah. Uh, here, let me pull you up so I can see you. There you are. Not be brittle. <laughs> it's the. Top of my shoulder, right here. Mm. Oh, the the fucking like puff, yep. whatever it's called. Yeah, the ah! rotator's cuff. Ah! It's a hairline that, fracture. In sure, there. that'll be I hate it. great when you're older. Oh, I hate it. This is what happens when you play a no bones heal stronger. Forties, as long as you drink, you know, <laughs> milk. not just beer. Milk, milk, <laughs> milk. But, but Steve, I'm <laughs> in a beer league. Milk. What am milk. I supposed to do? <laughs> not drink beer? It's funny though. Uh, on the way home from hockey last night. Um, I got pulled over by the police. Okay. Ugh. In your and, beer league. Oh, I wasn't drinking. I got knocked out of the game. Nice. Before and he can he's get like, drunk. well, it's, it's true. Um, They're like, oh, Phil's on our team. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't stop at a stop sign. I like didn't even fucking, I didn't even roll it. I just, just this does not exist to me. Ding dong. And the cop came out and he was just like, really? So yeah. Like, you know what you did because you pulled over right away. And I said, hey, man. I just broke my shoulder. I broke my shoulder. I'm going to the hospital. Uh, so, yeah, I know what I did. He's like, the hospital's that way. And I said, yep. That's Waynesboro Hospital. That hospital sucks. I'm going to Gettysburg. I'm going to Gettysburg <laughs> because also my girlfriend's in ha- uh, Fairfield and my phone is dead. So like, Dennis, you're quiet. Lift your volume. Okay. So my bro is like, all right, where's your wallet? And I hand it to him. And he so goes through it loud. to get my uh, license, yeah. right? And he's like, "Where's your insurance oh, card?" I said, "It's on, it's on my phone, which is four percent. So you got to look at it and then give it right it's back." Die. Yeah. Are you normally plugged in two or three? Two. That's why. And uh, my dude came back and uh, said, "You know what, man? Here you go. You know you got out of a citation, but uh, I hope you guys won the game." <laughs> Turns out we didn't. So, rip. Yeah. All right. I should be good now. So yeah, do you, do you get like upgrades in Helldivers too, or are you just like standard loadout each time? I don't know. I think there's different jobs, right? Uh, I don't. I'm not sure. There's different is, classes. Is there gear? Different right. uh, uh, weapons and stuff like that. I don't. I don't really. Okay. Know. I'll, I'll, we'll, I'll talk about it later. Okay. I'm Sounds sure the good. chat will know. That's what I was hoping sure. you would tell me. Um, are we going to do five seconds of silence? By the way, gear changes, no real upgrades. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's yes. Go. Let us hold our breath for five seconds. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hit the button in five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> A plane flew over my house right then. It's probably fine. Nine eleven. Probably. Fine. Did 
Does it have like uh, skin? Well, does it have skin 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 every time? <laughs> Are there loot crates with keys, like in Counter Strike Two? Dodge what? Team Fortress Two. No, oh, I thought you were talking about nine eleven. Uh, I'm thinking of What's Source. Like- uh, You're thinking so of Source? One of, source, source. Oh. which was source. the upgrade after uh, 1.5. Not yeah. yet. Um, so so like, there were no planes. I was thinking about my Source. <laughs> <laughs> my Herpy Sores. Um, which are also all over your broken shoulder for yeah. some reason. Comedy is tragedy plus time, which means eventually 9-11 is going to be fucking hilarious. It's oh, been 20 like, years. You just go to the bar and like, order 9-11. Like, 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 no, great. but like not I even just like so cool. But like, yeah, it was oh AIDS, my God. 20 years. It was AIDS, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. AIDS, 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 AIDS. <laughs> AIDS, 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 AIDS. Everybody's got AIDS. AIDS. My mama and That's my right. brother, too. People born after 9 11 can now legally drink. Hmm. Well, not all of them. What? <laughs> all of them. Everybody. It's it's a law now. <laughs> they changed that during 9 11. Thanks, Democrats. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Previously on Botched. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Was I? Was I? Uh, on, I got some notes here. Mm-hmm. Was Good that luck. Jacques? Jacques Son? <laughs> How can you trust anything you fuckers write over there? Because it is just. Bury, bury every man. <laughs> was I bury every man? Was this I sh- is what I'm talking about. You just have random <laughs> slips of paper <laughs> Come on. scattered around with words. You don't even know what it even I means. I wasn't Shane Gully. James Schlapner. Those are mine. Comma, Sean Connery. <laughs> Gary <laughs> Turtleneck. <laughs> that one sounds familiar. Oh, no, that was a while ow, ago. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Poor oh, Randy Dynamite. Damn it. Uh, Jesus. Were we- <laughs> Gary Turtleneck. <laughs> Previously on Botched. Tell us, Dennis. 9 11. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to tell you. Uh, technically, Dennis, uh, last week was a Patreon week. Mm-hmm. It's been two weeks. And you always yeah. do the post Patreon recaps. Because we're too dumb. Always. always. Stupid. <laughs> uh, Previously man. on Botched. I'm baby. <laughs> I'm baby. I'm baby. It's not my responsibility. I'm just a little baby. Innocent men. Hold, please. Thanks for the high train, y'all. Ooh. We love you. Mm, mm. See, Dennis, you don't even know. You got to check your notes. <laughs> Idiots, you don't remember? <laughs> <laughs> your notes are stupid. He was trying to <laughs> shame us into stuff. checking. Yeah, I there's know. no way for us to check. <laughs> on, this, I checked Steve's, my notes. Steve's I've got on nothing. To me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Steve's on to me. I don't That's remember. right. I know you guys were doing experiments. We, had, we were experimenting we were on some Steve. artifacts. Yeah. Um, Trying to which ones? Yeah, so... So Jackson wasn't the handbell. Uh, oh, there was. We did well. We at one point we did the handbell, but that wasn't last episode. No, that was a while back. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> just pull up our Twitch and listen to it. <laughs> yeah, I thought that we yeah. should bring in like Shinigami or Chef Forest just once to, to like, do re- the recap. recap. That'd be great. Since now you're Johnny Walker. Oh, I answered the question. Okay. Yeah. You oh, that's right. You're, you gotta go. You're a drunk man. Don't know oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, was, that was the bathroom full of cockroaches. That's right. It was the bathroom. Oh, yes. Okay. It was the cockroach room. So it was the cockroach bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Got mm-hmm. it. Okay. Nailed it. All right. Hit me again. I got it. Previously. Previously hold on. You said hit him again. Our audio levels are really. Ooh. Who's Tony the Pony? <laughs> if you have to ask, you can't afford him. Is he alive or dead? Got to be dead. He lives on Maybe in our hearts. You never used him. No, I don't think you ever used Tony the Pony. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> Unless really, I you wasn't really here. Reveal. Talk, Tristan. Talk, Tristan. Talk Tristan Phil. is talking. Hi, this is me, Philip. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, um, meow, meow. I can fit a Sharpie up my nose. It's I all the way. It's because I swapped the lines nose. around, so it screwed everything up. Anyway, never cross the street. Wine, sorry. Line swap. By the way, yeah. Have any of you tried red wine and root beer? No. I don't. Want Apparently, diabetes. it's like the greatest Hold thing on. ever. Rum and root beer, also delicious. Yeah, I, I heard that, but that's yeah, that's an interesting one, Tristan. <laughs> um, 
There's a TikTok guy is who it like people. Dry red wine. I don't is it remember. Sweet how, red wine. I have to I mean, look. The root beer is going to make it sweet. There's way. a TikTok guy. Is it the guy that like puts eight packs of sugar in his water oh, every no, morning no, 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 before no. he leaves? This is, is it the guy, guy that's like, oh, what's some weird food combinations y'all no, like? No, this is a guy that people send him drink. He does like shots. Oh, I've seen this uh, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got always got a cowboy hat. He's from Ohio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and somebody okay. said, "Drink the nectar of the gods from Parks and Rec, which is equal parts root beer and red wine." Well, root beer is going to overpower anything. Nobody said it was amazing. Yeah. It's like top five drinks. Yeah, it tastes like had. root beer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which is good. amazing. Basically, drink well, a soda. And, and also, depending on your red wine, it could take on the cherry uh, characteristics, so you would get cherry root beer. I believe his wine was like Uncle Pete. It was like a from Costco. It looked like a hillbilly on it, and he said it was a local wine. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Previously on botched. Honestly, these cockroaches aren't even that bad. I've slept in much dirtier bathrooms. Welcome back, junior researchers, to the thirty-third episode in our eighth season. I got the number right, right? It's the thirty. I wouldn't know. Uh, it's in front of you. It's you not. did 34th. the metadata. What? It's not four, 33? 30? Four and it 30. Th- okay, okay, okay. okay. Three Jesus and 30 Christ, losing my mind. episodes baked into a pie. I already got it. All right. So we are going to start a little while after we left off last time as a group of MTF are in an armored personnel carrier driving through uh, Wyoming in very remote region of Wyoming. And... It's all remote in Wyoming, actually. I know, but like even more so. Like there's mm. not a whole lot of anything, nowhere. Like there's no people around. Instead of letting you talk, I'm going to tell you uh, a fact about Wyoming that my, everybody might know. Wyoming is the least populated state per, by density of any of the states in the American, uh, in the American states, which is also known as America. Okay. Still get two senators there. <laughs> you want to just keep going? You want to keep running? That's it. I'm done. Okay. okay. Just check. Kurt. Oh, he <laughs> he just he just activated his Trump card. Or Trump I asked card, you a question in the Discord, <laughs> hold on, sir. Hold on, hold on, let him get his thing out. <laughs> That's all I got. He's been waiting for his yeah, yeah, he's been all like, day. You all tell day me when Kurt been... pops in the chat, all I'm gonna day. get him. So, Kurt, check the fucking Discord. I even added you, bro. We're not supposed. All right, well, all right no, we're not. One pass. Bye, Shaforest. We'll see you soon. God damn it. This pass is done. This whole night is gonna be off the rails. So. You had gotten word from the O5 Council as they continued to investigate. Uh, you know, you were you were told about Abel, and there was a mysterious site transfer that they can't find any record of. So the O5 Council was dig- dug around basically, and they found this particular site, which they have not managed to get in contact with. So they think it may be compromised. So they are sending you in to. F- a, ascertain what's going on, and B, neutralize a potential um, you know, rogue site of the SCP Foundation. So, yeah, so you guys are loaded up in an armored, armored personnel carrier. I thought you were going to say with Arnold Palmers. Yes, with Arnold Palmers. Arnie's. You got some Arnie Palmies, and you're good to go. All right, so who are my MTF? Uh, uh, this is uh, Chef Connor. Chef Connor, okay. Head, used, head chef. Yeah, I used to. I used to work at a a hotel, and uh, we lost all of our staff. So I thought I'd do something easy, like uh, hired mercenary work. Okay. My name is Seroquel Lagasse, Chef Seroquel Lagasse. I am here to kick down doors and kick it up a notch. Bam. Okay. All right. Easy killer. <laughs> and I'm Chef Robert Filet. Chefs. <laughs> Sending and in together, chefs. we are Pi 86, uh, MTF Pi 86 line boys. Love it. Lime boys? Line, 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 line boys. boys. Line, like line chefs. chefs. Mm-hmm. I get that joke. All right. <laughs> what gear are you taking on this mission cuz it's up to you if you want to go in hot if you want to go in quiet or a combo or whatever so what are you taking on this particular job pepper spray uh, oh sorry <laughs> chef spray. oh chef no. uh thank you chef you're welcome chef uh i'm always uh, as always i'm taking my my uh leather wrapped set of knives uh, all kinds of knives 
uh, many, many knives. Basically, any knife you can think of, it's in there. I don't have to list them all, but they're all in there. Um, I have my Halligan tool because what chef doesn't need, you know, a giant evil crowbar with a hammer on the end. Mm -hmm. And I knew what that was, definitely, until you said it. That's right. (laughs) Uh, And uh, because I like to kick it up a notch, I've got my Chris Vector 45 uh caliber smg it's a i'm a pray and spray boy bam pray and spray got it uh this is chef robert filet i'm taking in my of course my leather roll of knives as well Uh uh-huh i've got uh pepper spray um got my this whole knife thing's really gonna backfire on you well no because they're (laughs) knives they can't backfire (laughs) uh i've got (laughs) my uh settling torch okay to do uh isn't that like a big backpack with it or something no no it's just like a bottle it's a bottle so they do creme creme brulee with yeah oh that okay Mm -hmm. i thought you were talking about the ones that cuts through like doors and shit oh you're thinking of a welding machine welding tour or something uh i also have uh um incendiary grenades uh, 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 uh. D6? Incinerary. Uh, you know what? Since you're grenades. level seven, I'll give D6? you a D6. You get five. I'm incendiary. Uh, and I'm going to take an AR-15. Okay. Which I normally have because I started out with a Waffle House. Okay. All right. Oh, No stars then, too humble, Chef. I've got a uh, d- immersion blender. Okay. Hand one. What, what brand? Sure, yeah. Um, Battery operated, Vitamix? or do you have to plug it in? Oh, it, it needs to be plugged in. Okay, great. Right. <laughs> yeah, I just don't yeah. go anywhere without it. Right, you could charge those ones. Okay. Well, I also have uh, like a battery pack for my t- for my phone that I could just plug that into. Okay. Yeah, I've got a converter. Oh, okay. A lot of real useful stuff you're bringing. And last, uh, I mean, I've got my Kohetso Hat Forty Petty knife at 180 millimeters. Uh, okay. Never go anywhere without it. Uh, I got my oyster knife and uh, pump action shotgun with a variety of different uh, shotgun it. ammunition, <laughs> such as uh, solid slugs or uh, the one with the lots of balls in it. Slugs, slug, slug. In case I need to go elephant hunting. Is it bird shot? No, bird shot's like all the little ones. I'm, I mean, like the number of gauge, right? So. 12 gauge? 12 gauge is 12 balls. I don't know. We'll go with that. Steve's the one that knows guns. He's not t- telling me I'm wrong, though. Wait, I wasn't. I was, yeah, he was researching he was not, he the Chris was... Vector to make sure I remembered what it was. Shotgun. Um, 12 gauge, 12 little balls? Uh-huh. Uh, so 12 like, gauge? A 12 gauge, 12 gauge buckshot has has nine uh, nine millimeter ba- 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 double odd buckshot, nine nine millimeter balls. What would, what would I use for uh, you know combat with humans? Uh, you would probably want a Benelli M2. I have that. Do you want me to go hit that dog? It's probably because Megan's home. She hasn't gotten out of the car yet. Oh. So no. Yeah, you want a Benelli M2 <laughs> tactical. I've got that. I can't wait till we do an MTF four. I'm a, a and a, and you know a nine mil. I'm efficient. Yeah. Well, said. it's <laughs> like Steve who knows all the the guns, the guns, and Tristan knows the different knives. You did. It was probably the one when you were a band. <sighs> I didn't. Because you said you didn't even capitalize music on that. references constantly. Yeah, we'll be a hockey team next. That time, was a guys. good one. Okay, there you go. Hockey team. Wait, do you want a do you want a pump action or do you want a semi auto? Semi auto. The MTF. You want a semi auto? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, then you will have. Is the Spas Twelve semi auto? It is for this show. I have a custom uh, semi auto Spas Twelve. <laughs> action pump action gas operated. I guess there is a gas operated version. Yeah, fuck it. Sweet. The Spas 12 is is semi auto now. Great. I guess. Cool. And <laughs> And I have a a handgun. Oh. Yes. I, for, I forgot. Clock I forgot. Yeah. Uh I've got cigarettes. Okay. We all have cigarettes. Yeah, yeah we all have ci- we all have Can we smoke a Joe right now? Yeah, we're all, we're all smoking. Can we have 5 inside. minutes? Yeah. It's not busy. We're already sitting down. I mean, so the we truck is the, the armored personnel carrier is just driving you to the destination. Right. Yeah, Can we smoking. stop? 
no, no, and no. smoke a Joe. In you want to smoke inside? Yeah, we can. We just crack no. the back window. What? All your gears could smell like cigarettes then. Oh, no. oh, you smell like cigarettes. cigarettes. That's They'll how smell you sound. coming. <laughs> Where are we? In the middle of nowhere. Wyoming. Right now. Wyoming. Wyoming. Cigarette country. Yep. <laughs> That's the where hardest, the hardest. That's the where the hardest cigarette is America. From. Probably. Yeah, uh, I read that on Cigarette Weekly. <laughs> yeah, I read it in Thank You for Smoking. Mm-hmm. Marlboro, Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anyway, most famous stuff. Marlboro man is from Riverton, Wyoming. Ha! Let's go. I got it. <laughs> Let's go. I totally just oh, famous or sexy. Fucking nailed it. Anyways, what's the hmm? difference? So. How do you guys want to just drive in through the main dirt road, or do you want to go off and sneak in through the woods? Like, how do you you know from basic yeah. understanding? Because they do have some information. Obviously, it is a site yeah, in the O five Council. You know, gave it to you that the main site itself does have a walled structure around it, and mm-hmm. then beyond that, about two kilometers away, is a uh, razor wire fence with towers. Mm-hmm. Are we expecting resistance? They don't know. We according, don't know. According to so, if you recall correctly, that one site with the giant uh, colossus uh, that you guys went and checked out had a bunch of people murdered, and on the tape, an S, the SCP known as Abel was the one that murdered them. Hmm. Abel is supposed to be working with the SCP, but no, and not. according to the requisition order, the site that normally has him doesn't have him, so they had to dig up this other mystery requisition order, and it said that it came from. This site. So they're thinking maybe because everybody dead. This is all buried or something like that, that this site has gone rogue or something like that. So they're so, expecting, yes, probably, possibly resistant. How many people did Abel kill? In that site? Yes. The whole site, right? The whole site. So, yeah. so hundreds? Like a hundred and something. We would not be able to take this guy on. If he's there, yeah. Yeah. Well so, no, you could kill him. We could kill him. If you know Theoretically. Theoretically. Maybe he got the drop on he the other site. Yeah, yeah, he can die. He bleeds. Can we yeah. just tell the if driver he, to drive right through the gate? If he back. bleeds, we can kill him. Bam! He'll just come back not too long afterwards. But Yeah. we just get, get the driver to drive through the gate. Okay. Hey, chef. Chef said we're driving through the gate, yeah, chef. How, I, how are I your knees? You, you gonna, you gonna, you going to be able to crawl under some razor wire? Well, no, chef. I wasn't thinking that. Okay, because mine are fucked. Well, yo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm wearing two knee braces on one mm-hmm. knee. Like, I understand. I've been standing on solid concrete look for these, 20 years. Look at these fucking Crocs. They got no tread left in them. <laughs> look, look at these Tactical fucking Crocs checkered man. pants I have on. The knees are worn out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why are you still wearing your chef outfits? Because we're professionals. It's comfortable. Professional. Yeah, we just got our armor attached Fuck strapped you, over that's it. why. The white top really no, that helps you, you blend in. We all got rags in our back pockets. <laughs> yep. Okay. I mean, Just so you know. Couldn't, okay. Chef, just hear me out, Chef. Okay. Rags. Okay. All right, Chef. They're old underwear. Couldn't we, like, get out mm-hmm. and try to just send, like, we don't know if there's going to be resistance or not, right? I don't want to just go right in and then just be like, glat, 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 glat. Mm-hmm. Whole, whole, tr- whole thing is just dead. But if we sneak in and are discovered, wouldn't they just shoot us anyway? Well, <clears throat> what I'm saying is couldn't we just send this van in by themselves to see what happens? And if he's able to... Get free entry without being ambushed and shot to death. We can then also hopefully just walk in. Hey, driver, hey, can you hey, hear new us? Guy. <laughs> yeah. So, drop us it... off right here. Okay. And then drive Turn... out to the gate. Turn that DoorDash light on. Bam. <laughs> I don't have a DoorDash. We don't put a DoorDash light on the personnel carrier. I've told you for a thousand times. We're not delivering food. Uh, you're just a stupid. Bus boy, you don't know what you're doing. Oh, I'm sorry, van boy. What are you? Now nah, you're a bus boy. He's a cater. Pick up driver. my forks, He's bus scared. boy. Your forks? My forks. Where's They're my dirty. S- I'm driving the, the the truck. Like I'm driving the personnel carrier. Oh, right? I'm a bus boy. I'm gonna do one thing at a time. Yeah, I you can't get out you're of never the car make it in this fucking kitchen, forks. bus boy. There's not, we're not in a kitchen. You're you're out in life right now, okay? We're this not, a, we're not in a kitchen. No, watch me cook, and I step out the back door. <laughs> Did he stop? Mm-mm. No. Okay. I tuck and roll. <laughs> you just step out the back. <laughs> Fucking goddamn. How far out, out are we from the gate? Uh, according to the map, you are probably a half a kilometer away. That's oh, nothing. Why don't you stop real quick? He's, he's, he stops. 
Yeah, let him get close always. and then speed up. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, chef. <laughs> That's oh. funny. That's funny. Uh, no, let's let's get out here. You're head bus boy now. Thank you, chef. Oh, I like you. You're What's the your bus name? man of the of the house, buddy. <laughs> buddy the bus boy. <laughs> buddy the bus boy. What's your favorite color? All right, I get out. I'll Mauve. remember you, buddy. Okay, I'll just pull this into the woods somewhere. No, 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 no. Pull up to the front gate. Go front gate. You want me to drive up yeah, to the see front if they just gate let you by in. myself? They might let you in. All right. So you're just leaving. You're I'm undefended. Just driving here. Uh, I give him a yeah. I give I him give a hammer. Him a cigarette. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not a. Def- and a, a hammer. Ha- oh God. Claw, claw I have a, I have a pistol. You're in an armored person. Oh, okay. So you're not unarmed. I didn't. St- just like radio and see if they'll let you in. Okay, fine. And he so he just drives away. Door dash. And so you guys are walking after? Yeah, or? I'm looking through my binoculars to see if he's okay. You can't explode. see the you can't see the um, the outpost yet. Fuck. So it's a winding road and it's like a heavily wooded area. So all right, keep your ears peeled. What do you think the hardest thing to cook is, <sighs> Chef? Wow. Properly. Risotto? Like fish? Risotto. You think you're gonna, Always you, fucks me up. You burn risotto? All the time. Why? Because I walk away from up. I walk away from it. Well, that's your issue. I'm doing other things. Not watching the risotto. Yeah. I'm going to stir it the whole fucking time? Yeah. French ass bullshit. Displace all the heat constantly. Risotto's hard. Risotto's not that hard. What about Good you, Chef? Uh, the hardest thing to cook? Properly. Ooh. I'm not saying like... Like... Perfection. What's the hardest thing to perfect? Blue Eggs. Fish. Yeah, he's right. An omelet. Eggs. Hundred percent. Omelets. No. Omelets. Technically, the hardest thing to cook. Perfectly. Really? Yeah. You're not here, bus boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no this is the voice of God yeah. saying, "Really? <laughs> omelets. Omelets. All right. Chefs." All right, so we walk walk up. All right, so you can stealthily. Up. All right, with our creaking knees. Okay. <laughs> but we're we're walking. Smoking. <laughs> yes. Sure. You round uh, a hill in a corner of sorts, I suppose, and you can see in the distance that the armored personnel carrier has stopped at the gate. Mm-hmm. Uh, the gate is does not appear to be all the way closed, and actually hmm. looks a bit disheveled. But Can you don't we, see any lights on in the uh, outpost that's okay. right there either. Can we radio the bus boy? Uh, you're just getting static. Huh. Buddy. He's probably dead. You think? Radio's off, chefs. Switching over to stealth chef mode. <laughs> <laughs> Guns out. Put my Heelys on. <laughs> That'll work great on a dirt road, probably. That's how I get away around the kitchen quickly, <sighs> but quietly. I'm going to try to sneak up to the back of the APC. Okay. Roll me stealth. I got a 16 on the die. And my deck stat yeah, I don't know what my stats are. is uh, 16. So that'll be a, a 19 all day. Okay. That's great. Look at that. It's a 16. Okay. Oh, the three dice. Last chef. Uh, uh, no, 16 was my stat. I rolled a critical 20. Oh, yeah, yeah you're super stealthy. Very quiet. Five. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, all of his the- knives and pots and pans or whatever the fuck else he's got going on, just click clanking around, tripping over himself. Uh, they're non-slip, not non not squeak. Yeah, they're non-slip, but you're not. Non-stick. So... Yeah, you make a lot of noise. Non-stick shoes. The other That's two. That's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> the other two make it behind the armored personnel carrier with no sound whatsoever. It's like, it's like a breeze, not even. But you make a fuck ton of noise. But you don't. No, none of you notice any movement or any sort of alarm go off or anything like that. However, everyone roll me a sanity check. Oh boy, my dump stat. <laughs> <laughs> Bad idea for this one. Uh, <laughs> Connor Fort got a 12. Okay. 14. Okay. Six. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, Ask me to roll again. I'll get it. Bam. What are all your names again real fast? I forgot to write them down. Connor uh, Fort. That's Connor with an I. Con- 
What? Two ends, one eye. <laughs> fort. Wait. But it's not what you think. Connor? So it's just, there's no O's in it. Well, it's C-O-N-N-I-R. Okay. He didn't say there were no O's. He yeah. said there was one I. That's why. That's why I was. That's why I was confused because he was just like two N's, one I, and I'm like, Connor Fort. Is there no other vowels. Chef Fort. Con- Connor. And in the land of the blind, the one-eyed Connor is yeah. king. What? Mm-hmm. What are you two names? Uh, Robert oh, Fillet. Just Robert. Got it. Robert Fillet. Robert. It's a whole thing. Yep. Robert. I am uh, last name to Fillet. Sarah Lee. Quill Legacy. Sarah. Sarah Quill. Quill. Sarah Quill. Yep, I'll give you Sarah Quill. I'm not doing any of your last names, though. But um, it's a, stop. Don't care. It's, <laughs> I'm, not like, I'm not saying your call whole me, name call me every Chef time. Filet. <laughs> yes, Chef Fillet. The T is not silent. What's Connor's last name? Fort. Fort. And then what's Sha- Shaq's? Shaquille O'Neal's last name? Degrassi. Degrassi. Yes. Okay. Yes, Chef. <laughs> Chef Fort and Filet, you guys are definitely keeping it together much better than the other one. But you, F boy, you're definitely sweating a little bit. Well, yeah, it's and you both of you have I, this. I don't get. Out, I don't have to get out of the kitchen. I can stand it. Got it. You guys, uh, you both feel this sense of dread setting in, mm-hmm. and as like if somebody hour and somebody yeah. called out. Yeah, yeah. I would say something like that. But also, you feel like you're being watched. Um, so Chef DeGrassi. The GM here? What's going on? That's me. I'm Chef DeGrassi. You, sweating profusely. Uh, oh. You also feel oh. a little rumble in your tummy, a little bit of bubble guts. Uh, oh. You feel as though there are many people watching you right now, and you have a major sense of dread to the point where it's giving you the shakes a little bit. Chef, I, I can't. I feel like I haven't got the onion started. Do I need the onion started? Is it that time? Bam. Chef? Chef, 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 chef. Are we're they not, waiting, chef? <laughs> chef, we're not. Are they waiting? We're not on the line, chef. We're, you're good. Oh, we're good. He's having. Oh. <laughs> he's having. We're, flashbacks. we're in the woods, chef. <laughs> I was gonna say fa flashbacks. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Health inspector's not here, Fred, chef. We're good. Oh, hey, okay. Charlie's at table seven. Hey, bud. <laughs> sure. Did you did you take your did you take your your meds today? Yeah, I smoked like 12 cigarettes, okay. and I drank half of the vodka. Okay, good. Then why are you freaking out? I also have lots of cocaine. Well, get your shit together. <laughs> We're good. I take a bump. Okay. Same this way. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, sanity restored. Anymore, Thank I'll you. No, definitely not. You're just more jittery. restored. No, nope. uh, you're just a little hyper, more hyper now. Uh, what are you guys doing now? Uh, you're in the back. Open up the back, back of that days. APC. See what's up. What are you doing? Uh, looking for Dishy. So you're driver boy. Looking around the side. Seems buddy. Yeah, where's Buddy? Hey, I mean, you don't buddy, see anything buddy, from buddy. just peeking around the side. Any footsteps or like uh, not footsteps, footprints around the, his like driver's side? Um, I take my little coke mirror out and look around. You definitely see some footprints. Okay. Okay. And you also see some red splatterings on the ground. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah. Uh, Who dropped the chili sauce? <laughs> that that marinara was not even cool yet. It's enchilada, but that's fine. It was just, it was <laughs> just a baby. It's a marinara. <laughs> Twelve hours old. All right. Uh, looks like uh, we're gonna need a new uh, catering driver. Is the, car, is the keys in there? Keys in the car? I mean, you're keys at the, the back. I thought we got out of the back. No, you're standing in the back, like behind the armor personnel carrier. He said he just used a mirror to look around the right, side. I'm, I'm going to sneak around to the front. Those things are like, what, 15 okay. feet long? Mm-hmm. So, it's normal size. I sneak around to the front. Okay. Move around to the front. You notice that the door is hanging open uh, on the driver's side. Mm-hmm. It also looks like some of the glass is scratched a little bit. Huh. Also looks from the inside. From the inside, uh, you also see that the entire driver's side is covered in blood Ooh. and uh, bits and pieces. You're not sure what. Well, that fucking sucks. All right, well, I'm uh, going to go up there with. And there's just blood all over the ground. Okay. You also see that the gate is not closed, but it's kind of uh, busted down a little bit, and it's you know pried open a mm, bit from the outside or the inside. I mean, it's. So think like, like a chain link fence gate kind of thing. And yep. it's like the okay. door's open. So it's not 
closed. And then you also notice that the guardhouse itself also has quite a bit of blood in it, but it looks like it's much older. It's like dried, but you don't see a body or anything in there. Well, whatever it is, it's fucking happening. Um, what's the date, Wasteland? March 5th. Did you actually just have to check those? Okay. It's Tuesday. <clears throat> I don't know what day it is. It's March 5th. It's Tuesday. <laughs> But yes, no. He took that long to make up a date. <laughs> yeah, which um, also happened to be today. I'm gonna take out my masking tape, put okay. it on the door, Label. and write three five on it. Okay. Uh, do I have my gold spoon with me? You have your plating spoon, Dad. It's in your roll. You sure, that's true. I Fucking own the roll. Gold spoon. Well, it's the best for tasting. Okay. Why? Because it's a soft metal. We've gone over this before. Have we? I think we have. I don't. I don't. I don't I'm pretty keep, sure it was I don't Steve's keep character. Are you gonna taste that blood or what? <laughs> no, not yet. Why were you? I mean, were you chef? I just put my finger in it. All of you, roll me uh, sanity checks again. It's a critical twenty. Yeah, you okay? You're fine. Nine, okay. eight, bam. As I as I touch as I taste the blood, I get I'm nine. getting there. Sure. I'm. I, I take a little while to ramp up, but mid shift, I'm. Does I the cocaine there. help them with their sanity no, checks? No, doesn't. Mm-hmm. Chef Fort and Chef asked. Degrassi. You guys feel like you can hear whispers. Oh fuck! Oh, fuck. Um, the ticket printer's you. going. The ticket printer's going. <laughs> You're not quite sure where, <laughs> but you definitely—it sounds like someone's talking just out of <laughs> eye lines. You think? Yeah. You d- I mean, and the feelings of being watched are just intensifying. So you definitely feel like someone's watching you right now. How's that blood taste? Behind? Like, it's it's very it's warm. Hot. It's warm, and huh. it's it tastes like pennies. Hmm. Yeah, no one's standing behind, but I hear people. All right, let's go in. Guns up. You ready? Okay. On three. One. Three! <laughs> go. <laughs> run. Okay. You run in. So you Guns go out. in the gate. However, the actual base or the site isn't, it's like two two kilometers away, so it's not like super close <laughs> by. <laughs> but there's like, there something like happened right at this gate. Yeah, there's something, smokers. Something happened. <laughs> Right here at this gate, yeah. It, I mean, definitely. Yeah. So the, the, there's danger close somewhere. Get, well, we're looking for it as we uh, triangle formation towards the base. Okay. Eyes peeled. All righty. As you move further down this road, now are you stay sticking to the road, or you now you notice that unlike everywhere else, there's not a whole lot of trees in here, probably, mm-hmm. so that way they can, you know. See what's going on. Yeah, so there's not a whole lot to hide behind. Fuck open field. Let's so just go down, had, down the road. You said there was footprints. Yes. Where do they stop? Where do they go? So all around the door and in the blood and whatnot, yeah. it's just like a whole jumble of footprints. And then you see in front of the armored personnel carrier there are more footprints, and they go in the gate, yeah. and they just go in every direction. Um, can I see difference in the size of the footprints? Uh, I mean, yeah, they're not all the same footprint. Uh, different shoe types. It looks many, like sometimes many, some of them are barefoot. Yeah, can I do an intelligence check to figure out about how many different sets there are? Oh, roll me survival. And are they like these monster things that we've it's heard about? Sixteen before? on the die. You're gonna guess that it's about at least from the number of footprints and the different shapes and sizes and whatnot. You're gonna guess maybe ten people. Damn. Hmm. A ten topper. Out all the way out here, yeah, and we're short staffed. And they didn't even call ahead. Mm-hmm. They didn't. Yeah, Fuck good them. thing we have automatic gratuity. Let's kill them. Mm-hmm. The other two continue to hear those, like that whispering sound. And you definitely. But feel. the footprints go back into the woods. No, they just go out. In the, so, like on either side of this, like dirt or gravel road, it's just grass. And like little rolling hills as you get to, like as you move towards the base. The footprints just go into the grass and you don't see anything in any of this. Because it's just fence in like a big round circle around that. Like it's a big giant circle around this site. So we are fucked. We you are don't fucked. see anybody. Our, our, our cameras are rolling to the feed? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. I, I As far as you know. I'm going to call... Uh, back, Tucker. back to base real quick. Uh, so you try and call back static. to base, and it's just static. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Do I have service on my fucking Rocky Mountains? John Denver's full of shit. (laughs) Um, my 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 personal cell phone doesn't have any. Nothing. All right. Yep. Shoulder forward. In fact, the screen is uh like frizzing out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like radiation frizzing? Uh, you're not sure, but it's definitely spazzing out. (sighs) Embrace the suck, chef. Let's go. All right. Guns forward. Yeah. Okay. On this road. Continue to move forward. And the service is that way. You haven't seen anybody yet. Yeah. But eventually you crest uh, another hill and you see the site about a kilometer away. Roll me perception checks. Ooh. So six. Fifteen. Okay. Nine. Bam. Get climbing. Yeah. Climbing. <laughs> all We're getting you, hot. All of you see. Now you can all see the site. It's a pretty large building. I mean, it's very difficult to miss Middle it. Of a field, yeah. You notice that there are some small trees out here in the grass, nothing big enough to hide behind, but everything looks off. It looks as though, you know when when uh, in the in the heat or the summertime, you look at the road and you see like those waves coming off of everything the road? Everything kind of looks like Mirages. Mirage. Kind of looks like that, but everything looks like that. So like the trees have like that weird sort of like miragey, wavy motion, the grass, the... The hills, huh. the building, everything has it. And that feeling of dread that you've gotten, yeah. that you're being watched, has just been intensifying the further and further you guys go. To the point where um, you're all now hearing those whispering noises. Can we make out what they're saying? Can you make out what they're saying? Under seasoned. <laughs> Overcooked. I need this cooked. Roll me a sanity check to see if you can figure out what they're saying from this distance anyways. Hey, 16. Bam. 18 on the die. Okay. 11. Okay. Uh, so, Chef Filet, Chef Degrassi can't make out what the whispers are saying. But Chef Ford, I'm going to text you what the whispers are saying. Nice. Because we passed our sanity check. These biscotti are too hard. <laughs> Does your peanut butter pie have peanuts in it? <laughs> <laughs> Massive shellfish allergy. This is the raw bar. <laughs> All right. A message has been sent. This is the raw dog bar. <laughs> well, yeah. Large order of muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing Intense shellfish to move <laughs> further. Shellfish intensifies. Yes, we got to get there. They're gonna. They're burning our. They're. They're gonna burn the food without us. I uh, sir, there's n- I don't have any of that equipment. Uh, I'm worried there might be a gas leak. Does anybody care that there's like, there might be a gas leak? I like to pull out my schizophrenotron and uh, Not, I'm, scan. I'm double timing it. I got to save that food. Uh, yes, it's just chef. gonna burn. Okay. All right, chef. You guys are running in. You see the further? heat waves ahead I, of us. Right? I know, but I'm pretty you see the sure heat waves ahead of us. I see them, chef. Yes, chef. They're burning. Our brain The fillets. Ow! Sorry. Because <laughs> your name's asshole. fillet. <laughs> All right. Uh, this, this is this is stupid. You can break all. I'm gonna take out my lighter. Okay. And light a cigarette. Okay. It's pausing. Does it blow up? Does the world blow it, up? No. Okay. Good. There's no F- gas leak. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. Okay, I'll take a cigarette break. Oh, all right. You just stand there and take a cigarette yeah, break. Yeah, I mean, what, what uh, do you think? What do you nicotine think? Nicotine is an antipsychotic, so okay. mm-hmm. it could help. Well, yeah. as you take your smoke break, that's where we'll take our break. And we're back. Oh, that was refreshing. And your smoke break is done. Damn it. <sighs> uh, cigarettes taste great, make you feel good, and make you and look cool. You look cool yeah. smoking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know if any of those are true. It's true. You've never smoked. I hate the smell of cigarettes. Well, that's people who smoke them stink. You're a pussy. That's be, what it be is. Be a man. <laughs> that's what it is. Be okay. A man. You should buy your first pack tonight. Oh, should I? Okay. <laughs> you should use all your Kickstarter money yeah. on cigarettes. Kickstarter. Well, I got. I'm trying to pick up a smoking th- habit. I got ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Smoke cigarettes. three packs a day and die at fifty-three. Be, be a man. man. Now, what, what you do? 
is you go, you take that Kickstarter money and you drive to Virginia where cigarettes are cheaper and you buy a pallet of cartons. <laughs> oh, you okay. come back to Pennsylvania and, and, sell, them. and sell them at a profit. <laughs> to me. Oh my You've God. doubled your money. <laughs> to Phil. To me. Yeah. Whatever I have to do to kill him faster. <laughs> Fine. Okay, so our cigarette breaks are over. Do we get a, to a re advantage on our sanity? Because it is actually antipsychotic. No. I rolled okay. an 18 on my sanity. Great. There's no difference right this I'm, second. I'm full charging. You're about a kilometer out now. So. Is there anything in the woods that I can see? I mean, the, just the a trees. kilometer a back trees. where you came from? No, like, aren't we like. No. It's a, like I said, it's a big open grass desert. field with some small, small trees, trees here and there. I'm going to start foraging. Foraging. Yeah, like some. Mm -hmm. For berries. Berries? Grown berries and mushrooms. Great. Yeah. Roll me Farm, a it's, a, it's called Forest to Table. Yeah. It's a new concept some we're working on. Yeah. Bam. Failed. Forced to take, yeah, okay. And you just do eating grass. You know what? No, you find berries. <laughs> oh, yeah, and mushrooms. Oh, nice. Oh boy. Yeah. Here, chef. The red, red berries and uh, black mushrooms. I don't want that shit. <laughs> that's you know trash. What? Chef, do a bunch of twigs and fucking, dirt. <laughs> can I do a nature check? No, no, no. I do a nature check of a twenty-one. Those are all poisonous. Like it's all poison. I'm don't eat chef, any that's of that. trash. Okay, it's not trash. look. Poisonous is a bad term. It's 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 a weighted term. Everything is poisonous in the correct amount. Any How of that will kill you. It's are deadly. deadly. If you eat one berry, you'll get a bad bad tum tum. If you mm. eat all of what he just gathered, you will all die a horrible, painful, coughing up blood death. I'm gonna keep them. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, if and a table sends back an order, we're putting that shit. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, it, that, they're gonna do it up. At, we gotta get there. We gotta get there. I'm running. I'm running, running. now. Got it. Roll me athletics, smokers. I am not running. With disadvantage. With disadvantage. Come on, running. that was a You're really a good You're a smoker. One. I'm not running. I'm not talking I'm to not you. I'm not running, voice and Well, head. with disadvantage, I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> a critical one? <coughs> well, disadvantage, I got nine. Check. So one on the die, but athletics. One on the die is all that matters. Okay. So three. Oh. Okay. Uh, well. Chef Fort. <clears throat> so you, in your panic, go to take off running. And immediately, uh, the other two see the bone shoot out the side of his like leg because yeah, he knee. breaks his ankle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no. And like the bone is just straight sticking out. He stepped on a rock, very poor. Like he was just mm. all wrong, mm -hmm. all wrong. I... And so yeah, you see the bone sticking out. Blood is just. Oh, take these berries. Take these medicinal sticking berries. No, no, no. <clears throat> just put a glove over it. I can finish service. And it goes down immediately. I can finish service. <laughs> uh, do I have anything? I guess. Give me your sharpener. Where's your sharpener? Is my it in your stone? bag? Yeah. I'm gonna it's cut in, your it's foot in my off. roll in the APC. Okay, so I only have my petty. I'm gonna take my uh, knife set out. Okay. And the sharpening stick. Uh huh. I'm the honing rod. I'm, uh, his horny rod. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're gonna use this. Splint me with the honing rod. Yes, I'm gonna split him with the and the rod. and the labeling tape. Yes. Okay. Roll me. Oh, let's go with a medicine. Uh, with advantage, do you are you proficient in medicine? No, I then am. No. I'll help. <laughs> You're just doc, doc, Doctor Chef is going to help me. He's proficient. I am, and he's helping. Okay, see, it's right here on my character sheet. Okay, anyway. efficient in medicine. Okay, what were you rolling for? I didn't. This oh. is still my one. Okay. <laughs> roll that. <laughs> roll that advantage, Chef. Fifteen. Uh yeah, you make a passable split. My first one was a two. Oh, I, yeah, no, I that saw that was that a shame. Okay, you just stab it in his leg. <laughs> You're fixed. You replace mm. his bone with a stick. <laughs> now, so what you don't understand, voice and head, is oh, that God. there's multiple injuries uh, on the back line while cooking, and you have to MacGyver it back together to finish service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to doing stupid things like this. Okay. Yeah, I had, I had a guy once take his uh, finger off, and he just uh, kept the tip, put a put, put a glove over top of it, and. Uh, Got it sewn back on after service. Yeah. Because chefs are fucking Put the tip crazy. in the glove with him, actually. Yeah, you got well, you got to keep it in the Yeah, you got to have a little yeah. wiggle. Or milk. You got to keep it it's together. Like a, it's not like it's a tooth, though. <laughs> okay. What are you... So are you continuing... I'm, yeah, I'm going to try to shoulder on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we'll you're, not, you're definitely not running anymore. Is there no. any animals? No. No. Can't. No animals. No you beer do dogs. see. Do we feel like we're getting closer? It feels like we're just. Oh running. no, you're definitely getting closer. Okay. Binoculars. Okay. What do I see? So you could see that the outer wall of this site, the door, the gates are open. It looks as though there's a few bodies laying outside. Just mm -hmm. taking a little, little siesta. Sure. 
A little. Looks like they're taking a little nappy poo a little from dirt life. Nap. Yep, a little dirt nap in the dirt on the dirt. You guys get me up in one of those towers, and I'll cover you. Do you want me to throw you up there? What do you want? Well, you just shoulder me up. I'm gonna. We'll go up the stairs, and Sarah, I'll pick a rifle up, and I'll. I'll, I'll pop a squat you. uppies. I'm so you're going gonna be able to, to the site then? Yes. Right? Is there like a catapult out here that we can use? You get to the site. Mm-hmm. No, there's not a fucking catapult. You just gotta just give me a pie. I'll cover you. Uh, <laughs> well, then how do they defend their walls? With guns? Uh, so American. Catapults wouldn't defend the walls. They'd be used to... No, they do. You... I saw catapult. Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Don't fucking those tell me shades. how to defend they a wall. They use those to attack the walls. What about they? Uh, they use them to Monty throw Python, rocks they threw okay. the out into the. Well, you're orcs. on the outside, not the inside. They threw cows <laughs> out from inside. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Special lavash. So oui. you guys <laughs> get like pour oui, oui. <laughs> You guys make it to the outside of this uh, this walled part mm-hmm. of the site. Yeah. You see that the bodies that are laying on the ground have been dead for quite some time. Roll me a sanity check with disadvantage. I've seen dead bodies before. Fourteen. This That's not why you are. I got an 8. Okay. 14 plus 2 is 16. Wow. My second roll was a 19. 10. Bam. Okay. Keeps going. Bam. Chef Filet. Will you stop bamming me, bro? You are, Bam. You are definitely hearing the whispers now, like, heavily, but you can't make out what they're saying, but they are loud. The other two, you guys hear the whispers, but you definitely make out what they're saying, which is to say... All the whispers are telling you that the other chefs are going to fuck up your food and then blame you for it. And they've been stealing your supplies and all kinds of like other heinous <sighs> shit about like they're going to steal your sous chef. They're <sighs> going to take your good knives, like all kinds of stuff. You poaching me, bro? And all the whispers Eat. are saying you should probably kill them just to be sure. Chip the dishes. And it's sounding like a really good idea the longer you guys stay around here. Hey, uh, chef, chef. Chef. You guys would never, like, betray me, right? Well, uh, it's a weird thing to say, Chef. Are you fucking lying? Chef Degrassi, you notice mm. that just over the shoulder of Chef Filet, you see one of your old sous chefs waving, but he's wearing the garb of Chef Filet, as if he's, like, gone to his side or something like that. And he's just waving. He's just like, hey, Chef Degrassi, you're a way worse <laughs> chef. Then old Chef Filet. I'm so glad you're gonna, I switched. You're going to tell me you wouldn't betray me, but right behind you, I see old Bubba Entendre wearing your fucking colors. Uh, first off, I look down. Do I even have colors on? I got like, well, they don't run. But, yeah, no, I didn't think they did. Uh, well, they're just white and black. Just white and black. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, instead of black so, and white. So I yeah. turn around and look behind me. You don't see me. anybody don't see there. Okay. Okay. Actually, roll me a perception check. 18 on the die. You actually see, over one of the distant hills, you see a group of people. Like, their faces are all cut up, and, like, they have a crazed look in their eye. And they have, like, rudimentary tools, but they are dressed in SCP garb to an extent. Uh, It's kind of shredded. And you can see that they're, like, looking at you. Like, with a crazed look, and they are about to crest that hill. But your other two compatriots don't see them. Uh, Yelling at each other. zombies. I see zombies. They don't look like zombies. They just look like feral people. They're like uh, ghosts of Mars people. Feral people. (laughs) Feral people. Ghosts of Mars people. What would you call feral people? Wild man. Zombies are undead. These don't look like an undead. Okay. And wild man is Bigfoot. Don't pull that shit in here. Chef Lugazi. All right. Look. That's why his chef, the sous chef, went over to him because yeah, he understands cryptids. He, he understands. Mm-hmm. All right. Look, we can't just stand out here and bicker. We can bicker inside. Yeah, go inside. After you, chef. Now fuck you. Well, fuck me. Yeah. I'll go fucking first. By the you way, you already stabbed me in the back. Chef Bam. Fort and Chef Degrassi mm-hmm. feel as though your knives are talking to you. Yeah, like I, I really, got my petty knife. Like they really want to come out and start cutting stuff. My petty knife, ready. Yeah, like the first thing you so see. Make me break they just my. Just want to cut it. Make make me break my fucking ankle. Uh, I made your you break off. your ankle. <laughs> Fuck you, Degrassi. I hamstring him. Oh, roll to attack. It's what I want to do, right? It's it's definitely what you want to do. Or sh- look at that I, smarmy asshole talking want, about cryptids. Like he knows everything. I, I get a seven. 
You miss because you're crippled. Because I'm fucking. <laughs> You go, to, you. you go to lean down and forget that your leg doesn't work, and take, you just fall down on the ground with a knife recipe out. Book? Jeff, you did you my... forget how to say behind when you have a knife in your hand, and yeah. you, you're behind somebody? Knife your ass. <laughs> ass. What's with the guys on the ground taking the dirt nap? What do they look like? Uh, they look like they're long dead. Well, I know, but like, are they? what, what kind of clothes are they wearing? SCP uniforms. Okay, uh, go some of them are researchers. Some of them are standard guard issued uniforms it looks like their bodies are desiccated they've been dead for quite a while not like completely desiccated but it looks like they're on the way and they also have multiple lacerations all over their bodies does it look like the bodies that abel <clears throat> snatched no. no looks like different type of cuts gotcha like with the people he saw coming over the hill have yes hmm yeah abel uses a sword so like severed limbs and uh, larger cuts. These are like small cuts all over the body. <laughs> I want to, but I won't. You should. I know. <laughs> what? So yeah, you can, you can move further in. There's about ten people coming over the hill that two of your members don't see. <laughs> I'm going to take out my uh, AR-15 and start firing up at those uh, okay. <clears throat> feral humans. Roll to attack. Minus, well, let's go with a minus two. <clears throat> oh, I rolled twice. Well, because you get two attacks. Well, yeah, you get two attacks. Okay. Uh, first roll was a zero. <laughs> okay. You and are, then... of course, proficient in, and you get your text. Oh. Okay, so it's four. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you fire wildly. Ahead. How far away are these? Uh, they're about 100 yards away. Why are you making shoot a minus two? Because everything is wavy. And oh, all over the place. Because we're in a gas okay. leak. Okay. <laughs> That's why. Because somebody season left their burner Season three of on. Community. Got it. Never seen it. It's gas leak season. Okay. No, everything's all wavy, so yeah, it's hard to hit. Everything looks like it's moving more than it already is, so he just misses. Not that it would have mattered. Okay, a six, he still would have missed. <laughs> Any other shot? Dead 14. Yes, that will hit. Uh, roll D12. None of those. <laughs> Eleven. Okay, you. Uh, one of the bullets definitely hits one of the the people, and they go down immediately. Ooh, right. Hits them. Looks like it hits them right in the chest. Hits them in the chest, and they just fall forward and sort of roll up over on themselves as the rest of the the people are Does, running, and they're they're yelling incoherently. Does the gunshot? Uh, no, no, we, we're mm -mm. still not startled out of it. No, I run inside. Okay, you run inside. Yep. There is a uh, a door that's ajar, so if you guys run in, you could close it and well, seal I it. Oh, I, I ran in. Okay. What about the other two? <laughs> I'm, I I think I may have fallen forward after I missed that knife swing. You did. You fell down. Yeah. Yeah. So you're laying on the ground right now, but you could fuck you. Could, <laughs> spit at. I, I step over Chef and I continue. So you go in the building too. Yes. Let me close the door. Okay. I do I'll not help him stab up. you. Poach okay, my so hostess. Just... I kick him in the head a little bit. Okay. I will give oh, an accident. Chef Fort mm -hmm. an athletics chance with a minus two because you've your busted uh -huh. leg yep. to try and get over there and in that door before they can close it. All right. So that is a straight roll for me to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a six. Uh, no, you you try and get up and just keep falling down. So you're just mm. crawling, and ah! you, you see them just close the Fuck door. Fuck you! And you you could see that inside the door, it looks like you leave me your alone entire, for service. Your entire chef group is behind them, and they're all waving happily that they've moved over to them. And you could you could smell that they're burning your food, and they're gonna blame you Fucking on it. And you're gonna get a bad shit. Yelp review. They're getting paid better. Yeah, they're getting paid better, and they get better. I just fire at the door. <laughs> Okay. With your shotgun. <laughs> All right. You fire, but they've already closed it at this point. So Fuck you just you. fire away at the door. All right. You guys in the building. It's dark. But also, you guys are, uh, like, when I said you were sweating a lot before, you were drenched in sweat now. But it's not hot. It, it's work. It's both. You're sweating profusely, and you have chills running up and down your spine. And you just constantly feel as though there are people 
inches away from you in every direction. I turn the light on. It feels like work. <laughs> Where's the light? Uh, on the wall. Okay. Most lights are installed in the ceiling. No, these are light. These are and switches uh, electronic along the wall. Sure. Are right there me, by the door. Roll me a sleight of hand with disadvantage. No. To find the light switch. Uh, I dropped my D twenty. Shit. Oh. Uh, I'll never find it again. Eight. You no, know, you don't find oh. a light switch in the darkness. I take my phone out and turn the I, flashlight on. I I search the other side of the wall. Your phone. Remember how I said it was on the Fritz before. It is. It's now on the Ritz. It's now on the Ritz. It is just <laughs> going ape shit crazy. So you can't even get to a menu. I'm gonna call nine one one. It doesn't work. Hey Siri, <laughs> dial nine one one. So yeah. Ow. What do you do now? Uh, I take out my settling torch and light it. Okay. Hey, there's some light. There's a little light. Uh, the the flame here? is snaking around, and it almost looks like it's a bunch of little people. The flame is. Yeah. Like, you are, are fucking, sexy? you are losing it. Uh, no, they people? look like they're screaming. Because they're on fire? Yes, because they're on fire. Oh, no. <laughs> fire dancers. Them. You I did this. You yeah. saved Dave Matthews. Why did you light these people on fire by turning on this torch? Do I see a light switch anywhere now? Yes. And I go over and I turn it on. Flip it. The lights uh, flicker a bit, but they don't come all the way on like and they also way. look like they're not really sitting still like they sort of spasm around on the ceiling constantly like they're moving around just de -de 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 -de. Like uh, chef on. yes chef these lights have rickets do you know what rickets are chef <laughs> i'm pretty sure it makes you shaky and you get it from eating bad meat is that what happened to Michael J? I'm gonna fucking burn your buildings down. <laughs> yes, chef. Yes, chef. <laughs> you guys roll me a sanity check. I still have that settling torch out, right? Yeah, it's still yeah. with the fire people. That's not great. It's a thirteen. Thirteen for me as well. Great. You both feel as though your skin is starting to like, like you have to hold it on, like it's gonna fall off. You got melty moment. skin. You want me to fix that for you? Also, you feel like. Either one of you is trying to steal each other's skin. Like, you can't let them get anywhere near you because they will take your skin. How do I feel outside? You also feel extremely violent towards one another. Like, the idea of murdering each other is so tantalizing that is I it, want you to roll no, me a sanity say, check in say, order to... Sounds like another day at work. Stop <laughs> <laughs> yourselves. It's a critical 20. Fuck you. Okay. Or... <laughs> All right, so Chef DeGrassi, you can't you can't help yourself anymore. You are compelled, to, Chef, to want to murder yes, chef. chef Filet. Do you see what's wrong with that light right there on the ceiling? That one up there, and I've been pulling a knife out of my. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is that? What's that little guy? I don't know. I don't know, Chef. You you didn't even look at it. It's no, right there. It's good. I can see it moving in my peripheral. Uh huh. Yeah. I dropped the knife. Oh shit! I dropped my knife and oh. I shoot him with my gun. All <laughs> <laughs> <Hold> to <him> attack. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I botch. Uh no. Uh I didn't botch. I got a. Uh... Math is hard. I took calculus yesterday. I'm all mathed out. Nine. No. That's how long that took for a nine. Look, uh, I had to I had to minus a one and then I had to plus a yeah. four. I remember when three times five was or 50, three or whatever it was that you said. Plus so. a four. Um, three. Oh, it's eight. Eight. Oh, Nailed even better. It. Yeah. So actually, so you pull your gun out. Uh-huh. And it actually blinks out of your hand. Blink. And it's like halfway into a wall, not very far away, sticking out like the barrel, what anyways. The and then it just randomly goes off and shoots another wall. I'm gonna charge at him with my settling torch. Okay. He's just going to burn his face off. burn his face off. Okay. Nice. Roll to attack. 13. I mean, I mean you're obviously proficient clothes. with that. Oh, yeah. You're wearing chef clothes. So you don't so, have any AC. Okay, so hold on. It's just be 11 Thir plus dex. Or 10 plus dex. Plus my proficiency bonus, which would be a three, right? Yep. Yeah. So 16. Okay. What's your AC, chef DeGrasse? Oh, I was supposed to calculate that? His um, AC? Yeah. 
You're tapping. I don't know, man. Well, I, I'm wearing I'm armor. Short. Probably like oh, 14. Okay. I'm just wearing chef clothes. I know. Well, I don't know. I what thought we were wearing our armor over the chef yeah. clothes. Oh, no. I went and just wear my <laughs> chef clothes. and I were doing that. Yeah. yeah. So Chef yeah. Filet <laughs> chef filet just runs up on Degrassi and just l- puts the acetylene torch in his face and is just lighting his face on fire while he screams maniacally. Hey! It actually, actually feels nice. <laughs> oh! No, it, doesn't oh, it feels hurt. good. It feels great. Oh, hey. You know, not as bad as we we worried about. Chef feels great. Keep doing it. Um, yeah. good. Okay. Well, okay. I'm gonna t- keep going because I attack yeah. twice. Um. So it feels good. So yeah. I'm not overwhelmed with pain. Right. Oh, it feels amazing. Oh, look, there's thumbs here with no eyes in them. Wait, <laughs> other way around. There's eyes here with no thumbs in them. I push my thumb in his eyes. Roll to attack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is a 22. Yes, you, as he's burning your face, you shove your uh, your thumbs into his eye sockets, and like the goopy pulp just shoots out around your thumbs. Does that as, hurt me? Uh, actually, you love it. Oh, great. Yeah, it no, does it fall so... onto my face and start sizzling under the acetylene torch? No, it's not that close. No. He's oh, not on not top cool. of you, but uh, so yeah, you're both horribly disfigured at, the po- at this moment, but you also feel great. Roll me an uh, intelligence check real quick. Seven. (laughs) Six. This should be your new home. You guys should you should live here forever. You want you want well, to get great chef. Well, until you Thank kill you the chef. other one. I mean, because obviously the other one has to die. What? What? Can we split the rent? No, one of you has to die. You only have chef, enough food you want to get gay person. married, live here together, and I kill can, each other? I kind of, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it sounds. Let's like build a life together that we can take from each other. It's great. You have uh, you've got life insurance. While he's talking, I shove my fingers down his throat to try and choke him to death. Okay. I'm going to take out one of my uh, incendiary grenades okay. and uh, uh, put it in his pants. Okay. All right. Real close. Well, first, roll yeah. roll the, the the strangle check or the choke check. Would that be me uh, versus him? That's a him 17. Okay. So, yeah, you shove your hands down his throat <laughs> and then roll to just not fuck up the grenade. Just give me a sleight of hand. Four. <laughs> You drop it straight on the ground. And actually, his pants are very loose for a chef for some reason. And it just falls it's out the pants. Dick. Yeah, it just falls through the <laughs> pant leg and rolls between the two of you perfectly and explodes, uh, engulfing both of you in flames. But are we married now? Uh, you are married in the Church of the Eternal Flame. How am I doing outside? <laughs> that doesn't sound like a cult. Outside? Yeah, right. Roll me an intelligence check. I saw that YouTube documentary. All right. Uh, four. No, you should stay here forever yeah. too. It's I'm a great time. Crawling towards the warm light. Uh, yeah, you you definitely f- yes, chef. feel some heat running out from underneath the door. Oh, I see why it's great. <laughs> I, it's like the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, roll me a s- perception. Six. Yeah, you don't see any of those people coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they immediately run up on you. By the way, because you don't, you can't see. I gotta anything. kill those motherfuckers who took yep. my menu. And they just start. Um, stabbing you ah. repeatedly. Does he feel pain? With all kinds of makeshift like blades. Some of them are actual knives. Some of them are panes of glass. You don't know. But all these people are just covered in cuts. But as far as Chef Fort is concerned, it's you two that have come back out. <laughs> you motherfuckers. And one of them is wearing a wedding a, ring. <laughs> a, well, they're both wearing wedding rings, but one of them is wearing a groom attire and the other one's wearing a wedding dress. And they are uh-huh. just holding hands with one hand and stabbing you with the other. And you need me to fucking cater your wedding right now right. for and, 500 people? And all of your old chefs are their uh, wedding party. Uh, mm-hmm. Chef, will you work for exposure? And I, I'm stabbing him. Yeah. I'm stabbing mm-hmm. uh, stab, stab, my, stab, my, stab, my stab. husband in the, in the side of the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to try to shoddy at them until I die. Okay. You do that. Um, there is a I long botched. range. <laughs> <laughs> How do you, you reverse? Out? Kurt Cobain yourself. I don't know, but it's uh you just you just forget which end the gun is and you fire it into the dirt yeah, like you're uh, holding yeah. it up in the air and you just shoot Fuck it you. The dirt. it goes nowhere. Just bounces around and you've never used a gun before. You go into that blink that dark inky blackness uh. as you die. Um meanwhile, from a very far distance, the SCP Foundation is watching all of this. And they're like, okay. Yep. That's, it's, it's actually just our driver in the car. That's like, bad. <laughs> yeah, he was camouflaged as yeah. a bloody seat. He just took it off. He's like fools. 
Uh, so yeah, so you guys are all dead, and the SCP, or at least the O5 Council, is concerned about this particular site and decides that they need to move forward with some other plans. Um, but since you know they can't get too much information, since they can't get super close because of all the craziness that's going on there, they're going to uh, cordon off that area. Because obviously this isn't a rogue site, it's just something happened to this site uh, possibly related, they're not sure. It's microwaved. Sure. It could Obby. Be. Yeah. So as they cordon off that site with an even bigger fence and more guns and things like well, we that. we got to build a Magneto helmet, obviously. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> to keep the voice. That out. is where we're going to call it. So thanks for tuning in. Check us out next time. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reddit, and Twitch at Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch is brought to you by the Patreon producers. Your weapon of choice, Big Jim, the Knuck Lord, Chronic, Skinner, B-Mail, Shanda Panda, Disgruntled Furniture, Chris Wisdom, Zukari, Scabby Goose, Shinigame, God King, Red Panda Bash. Long may he stab his enemies and steal their sous chefs. And old Toaster Bath. You. Shocking. Drop them toasters. You want to uh, support the show? You oh, can I do so it. on many stupid <laughs> websites. FreedomValleyHorsePace.com, so DickBlood.club, LizardTeats.com, MookMulk.com, BuyTheseViagra.com, LouisianaPocketGopher.com, DamnYouDennis.com, BirdsWithPenises.com, Chicken.Church, Chickens.Church, MeepCreeps.com. <laughs> Meep Creeps? Yeah. All right. Or Meat Creeps. Meep Creeps. Okay. Meat creeps was already taken. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> DaddyDennis.com, <laughs> ChugYourMilk.com. <laughs> Raul's Moving Castle dot yes. com, Party Mormons dot com, Love to party. Chongo Grande Cerveza dot com, and <laughs> simply Chongo Grande dot com, <laughs> or simply Patreon dot com slash Botch Podcast. Like our newest patron, <gasps> Kevon Hairstorn. Kevon. Kevon. Strong Kevon. name. Kevon. 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 It's is pronounced Kevon. 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 It might be Kevon. Come on, come on. Uh, you want to support the show but can't do it financially, head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you uh, can leave a five-star review, and Chonky will read it out on the show. And if you don't, I'm going to punch Phil in his broken shoulder. <laughs> I also heard since you can't leave verbal, like you can't leave written reviews on Spotify, Yeah. someone's like, can I leave you a five-star review and then email you what I would have said? Sure. Yeah, that works. Down with that. Botch, totally. Yeah, it's fine. Botchpodcast at gmail.com. Come. Thank you to Gozer for intro and outro music. Thank you to Emily Swan for her album art. Send something to the studio, P.O. Box 3178, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 17325. Chalk, you open it up on stream. And as always... As you leave your career of passion because your body's too busted and die in a ditch longing for the heat of the kitchen, scream botched, and we'll hear you. We'll See you next you. week, nerds. We, we salute, salute you! Big Jim Five. No. Jim. No. Incorrect. Oh. No. Get fucked, Big Jim. Shinigami SPCQR gifted three subs. Oh, okay. okay. SPCQR. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. SP. I don't know how that all. SPCA. <laughs> SPCA got me, baby. <laughs> we salute you, Shinigami. <laughs> you are this episode's redacted. 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 Let's go. All right, everyone, stick around. We will be right back. Piss in break. Episode. BRB.